Um, yeah, you can put them on for the warm up. That'd be good. Yeah. Do warm up in. Yeah, do it quickly because we need to go for the warm up. Mr. Lupian likes to, who's our coach, likes us to get um, really warm before we start running. So we do like a bunch of different kind of like strengthening exercises. So we do like lunges and burpees and stuff before we run just so we get extra warm. And now we'll turn around and we'll do um, Frankensteins, which are like this. And um, they stretch your hamstring. And then we'll turn around and we'll do the opposites of Frankensteins, which we call ballerinas. It doesn't really look anything like a ballerina, especially when we're not flexible. We normally start with doing like toe walks. We go inverted and then outward and then heel walks inverted and outward. And um, that's mostly for like opening up your calves and stuff. And uh, we call them like toe walks and heel walks. We have like special names for other things. <laughs> Um, these are the same as the toe walks, kind of, except, I don't know, I feel these more yeah. in my hips. Different parts of your calves. Yeah. Too. Burpees, these are more just like strengthening things just to get warm before you start running. Yeah. So we'll do... Our coach's favorite. Ten burpees. Go! Uh, some of the stuff, a lot of it's just to get our bodies ready to be running. It's to be stretched out and making sure that everything's really ready to go so that once we really start running, it's not... It's not like everything's tightened up. So a lot of it will be like hip strengthening exercises to loosen everything up as well as get them ready to be running. Um, some dynamic stretches as well to make sure that everything's like, like you're just getting warm so it's not starting off cold once you actually start running. Mr. Lupian always said, it's really wet. So that's probably for the best thing I think doing core. Helps with getting cramps through the race. Um, doing side crunches and stuff in practice definitely helps. Um, avoid getting cramps, which probably are what I hate the most in the race, so. Okay, well, 15 minutes to race time. Let's get together, talk about your goals, get your shoes on, get to the line, get your striders in, and let's dominate. Good luck, ladies. Yeah, let's go get our spikes on, guys. Yeah, Midori and Haley are already spiked up. Yeah. Right now, these are my spikes. I've had these since eighth grade. I can't find anything that I like more, so. I've just kind of kept them. I have my spikes in from festivals, but I guess they're kind of lucky because we won. So I never, I always like leave this for the last minute. Like I was just taking out my stuff for my last race. So. Do you know real time, then? 3.20. Okay, guys, let's go. Let's walk over, Varsity. But yeah, so when we're, when we're headed over there, we have our little team huddle and we're all nervous. Everyone's kind of thinking, oh, is, is my little sore spot going to hurt? You know, if someone's feeling an injury, everyone's like, oh my gosh, like, can I get through this? Can I get through this? But once the race starts, it all just kind of goes away and you're, you're into it. You guys have trained so hard this season and this is where it's like, you're just going to run your butts off. This is a hard course, but you're, you're just going to run it and you're going to run it so fast because you've been training for this and you have it in you. You're ready. You're ready to run fast. Two weeks ago, guys, we took home those medals. We know what that feels like. We want to do it again here. You know what we want. We just have to go for it, okay, guys? We're going for that title. Ready? One, two, three. Team together!